Skype. Let me turn now to two gentlemen who are mirroring another incident. Uh, what we see in Charlotte now, we're thinking back about what transpired in Dallas mm. and those deteriorating relationships with, between the races and also law enforcement as a target. Just a few days ago, a former federal prosecutor who's the founder of Judicial Watch, now with Freedom Watch, Larry Clayman, added a Dallas Police Department sergeant as a plaintiff in a class, a class action lawsuit against Black Lives Matter, the Nation of Islam, President Obama, and others. Here to talk about that lawsuit via Skype is Larry Clayman, and he is joined by someone who is associated with this suit, a uh, 17-year veteran of uh, law enforcement, president of the Dallas Fallen Officers Foundation, Sergeant Dimitrik Penny. Gentlemen, we thank you very much. Larry, a short period of time here. Give us quickly the 411 on what you're doing in Dallas. We brought a lawsuit, and I might say Dimitrik is the most patriotic and brave person I've ever met. He's African-American. He's bringing a case along with me, against Louis Farrakhan of the Nation of Islam, Al Sharpton with his group, uh, Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, Black Lives Matter, the new Black Panther Party, and others. George Soros, of course, who's funding this race war. Uh, we're seeking to have the court order it to stop, and we're seeking large damages, much like uh, people talked about bombing the oil wells of ISIS to cut off the financial flow. If we cut off the financial flow of money, to these groups who are starting a race war for their own political purposes to destroy this country and build it back in their socialist and atheist and other image, uh, then we can stop this. And somebody had to put their foot forward. It's, not, it's one thing to talk, it's another thing to act. So I commend Sergeant Penny. If people want to see our complaint, it's at freedomwatchusa.org. We could use the support. Sergeant Penny could use the support too. He'll give his website address. But we have been threatened in the last few days, much like people. And, and that's why let, uh, we appreciate that. But let's hear directly from Sergeant Penny, who joins us by phone. Sergeant Penny, we hear Larry yes, talk about threats. You're in law enforcement. You routinely have your life on the line. This new political dimension, describe what you are going through right now, stepping up to bring this lawsuit. Well, this is very tedious right now for all of us uh, in the law enforcement community. Um, me personally, I, I've, you know, I've had my life threatened. I mean, I'm still have my life threatened every day. But for me, it, it's more about me protecting law enforcement as a whole, police officers as a whole. I'm not going to be intimidated by these guys. You know, I got friends out here. I've lost four close friends. We've lost five officers here in Dallas uh, on, on July 7th. Five, at one time, the worst loss of law enforcement life since 9-11. That's something that this country cannot tolerate. Look at what's happening right now in, in South Carolina. These, these group of individuals don't want to, they don't want to uh, talk about anything. They don't want to address any, make, bring about any real positive change. How do you do that by destroying the community? You cannot. It cannot occur. And, and, and I'm, I'm almost shameful of these leaders that's coming out here saying, hey, we just need to talk. After we've had riots across the country, we've been having multiple riots across the country. We have 20 officers injured in just this incident within the last two days. How is that any positive message to get? How can anybody, how can anybody reasonably want to come to the table and talk to you? I can't take you serious when you're trying to hurt my point, people. Point well taken, Sergeant Demetric Perry, because these questions are more than Penny, rhetorical. Yes. Very, I'm sorry, Demetric Penny. I stand yes, corrected, sir. and I apologize for that error. Very quickly, Larry Clayman, to find out more, the website is? FreedomWatchUSA.org, and also check out the Dallas Fallen Officers Foundation. And Demetric, what is your website as well? The website is, uh, if you want to support what I'm doing, is sergeantpenny.com. That's 